Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. If you're a Mullen Automotive investor, please watch this video. This is called The Setup. I'm going to show you four 8Ks, and I want to break them down for you guys, and hopefully you guys can understand what this is. Now, back in the day, this is back in January, if you guys are not familiar, that went ahead and got passed, and it was voted on for a 25 to 1, up to a 25 to 1 reverse stock split. Now, did you know on that proposal... It tells you here, proposal number two is not approved. This is if a pr proposal number two is not approved at the special meeting, then the board of directors may effectuate a reverse stock split at any time. And at such time and date, if at all, determined by the board of directors in its sole discretion, but no later than December 1st, 2023. Now, we know this happened May 3rd. We know it didn't happen at that time frame. We know that proposal number two was passed. If you guys don't know what proposal number two was, it increased the float from 1.75 billion shares all the way up to 5 billion shares. Additionally, preferred shares were increased to 500 million. Guys, listen to me. When you do a reverse stock split, okay, you can take the 5 billion and reverse it 25 to 1 like they did, but the preferred shares never adjust. Unissued preferred shares never adjust on reverse stock splits. That's the first rule that you guys need to pay attention to. The second is this. If you read this fine print, and you don't, you don't allow that proposal of the extension, they were going to do the reverse stock split anyway, with or without you. That was the point. It doesn't matter what you vote on. They're going to take your money anyway. Let's look at the next 8K. And it says, at the company's reconvened special meeting of the, of the stockholders held January 19th, the one I just showed you, the stockholders approved the proposal to authorize reverse stock split of the company's common stock with a ratio within 1 to 25. Yes, the common stock was um, did the reverse stock split. Like I told you guys, it was adjusted. Not the preferred shares. So pay attention. Under the terms of the certificate of incorporation, the board may determine the rights and preferences and terms of authorized unissued shares of preferred stock. On March 31st, they're going to tell you 500 million shares of preferred stock. The reverse stock split did not affect the number of shares of preferred stock, but the conversion ratios were pro uh, proportionally adjusted to decrease the number of common shares to be issued in reverse stock split ratio 1 to 25. So what does that mean? That means that the preferred shares were not affected. And why do I make that a big point to you? I tell it to you because there are no anti-takeover measures that need to be worried about. There is no reason to, there is no reason whatsoever to increase the flow, to issue more shares. So proposals that you do on the current proxy, and like we voted on, and like we talked about, this amendment here was proposal number two. Now I paid attention to all the proposals, guys, but this one didn't make sense to me. It was 52 million shares, guys. And everyone says, yeah, give them 52 million more. It doesn't matter. But read the fine print. And the fine print says this. We're going to give you 52 more million shares for your equity incentive plan, David Mitchery. And look at the fine print. Not subject to adjustment for any decrease or increase in the number of shares of common stock resulting from a stock split, reverse stock split, recapitalization, combination reclassification, you guys name it, the payment of the stock dividend, on the common stock or any other decrease in the number of such shares of common stock affected without receipt of consideration by the company. What does all of that mean? That means that as they announced their one to nine reverse stock split that they just announced, now you're going to take your float from whatever it may be. Uh, they tell me it's 650, 607. I don't care what it is. Let's just call it 900 million. I wouldn't even care. You're going to tell me you're going to come all the way down to 100 million shares or even less than that. But now you have the ability to issue 52 million more shares. Do you know whose equity they're issuing? Yours. Do you know how much money you're going to lose? All of it. Because when you want to get more money out of this, I loved it. Last night I talked to a guy and he goes, oh, I'm going to buy it right here at this price because it can't go down much further. I said, what do you mean? So I can't go down further than 11 cents. So are you joking? Do you know how you package it up and give it back to you? We can do a reverse stock split and suck more blood out of this rock. Guys, this is what's happening to this company. You are being manipulated and you have been, and there was nothing you could do. The reverse stock split was going to happen anyway on the last proxy. This is what they sneak in on you on this proxy. Oh, and go read the incentive plan for David and what he gets paid. Percentages of 1% to 3% on everything. That means he gets 1% to 3% of the whole float every time he hits a benchmark or a milestone. And the milestones, they already own, i.e. delivered this many vehicles that they already own. They're not producing things. They just own these things. And he's going to get paid anyway. They wrote it in. I've seen it before. I've seen AMC insiders write their incentive plan as in if we hold $200 million cash on the books, we all get a bonus. And guess what they did? 
They went in, diluted their float, 400 million shares, increased the coffers to 1.8 billion cash. Therefore, they all got a bonus, even during the pandemic. Then the next year, they did the same thing. And the next year, they did the same thing. And this year, they're doing the same thing. Guys, people write these bylaws. You vote on it or you invest on it. It's all the same. You're being taken to the cleaners. You need to wake up. David Mitry is a criminal, but he's doing it in plain sight. He's actually showing you what he's doing, and you're still there. That is crazy. Financial Journey Cal, come explain this to me. Shout out to Trade Gopher, who had me digging down a hole with his post, and everyone else out there that puts out factual information about Mullen Automotive. There's a ton of them. Fud Daddy, you guys name it. I don't like to call it a man daddy. But Cal, Financial Journey, um, Trending Trades, explain this to me. Go get David on the phone, go bring him in front of you, and explain this to me, and then you and I can have a conversation. Peace.